from spring till fall, young beekeepers take proper care of their honeybees. As a reward, they give them many healthy and useful products, which we will talk about today. Of course, the most famous one is honey, but we discussed that in previous episodes. So today we will learn something about pollen, propolis and bee wax. Bees are pollen traps. During May and June, which is the time when bees bring the highest amount of pollen, we can place them in the lower part of the beehive. And kids, does anybody know how that works? Through little holes, bees get into the hive and release the pollen. Great, well, let's try it. The pollen trap must be cleaned every day and the collected pollen can be frozen or additionally dried. It is a great source of vitamins, proteins or minerals. Another healing bee product is propolis. Basically it is a sort of bee disinfection, which can be used to cure canker sores, viral or mycotic illnesses. But be careful, to allergic people it can be dangerous. That is why first you have to test your children and see how they react to propolis tincture applied directly on the skin. Propolis is a transformed resin from a tree bud, which is used to fill the spaces inside a hive and to disinfect it. Ideally, the beekeepers collect propolis in July or in August directly in the hive, on a special grid, which is placed in the upper part of the beehive box. We can release the grid with a hive tool, carefully put it in a plastic bag and freeze it. Then it is easy to remove the propolis. On the brink of the summer, it is necessary to prepare our bee colonies for upcoming cold days. When the beehive is secured, we get left with some empty bee combs, which have no other use. Although, not completely, because we will use them. They contain some bee wax, and young beekeepers know how to get it out. If the sun still shines, the most economic, but mainly the safest alternative for kids is a solar wax extractor. But what to do when the sun is not shining or we need to melt higher amount of empty combs? We will use a steam wax extractor. The melted wax along with a lot of dirt slowly drips out into a bucket. We wait until the mixture turns solid and try to remove the dirt sedimented on the bottom. Then we melt the wax again, this time in a water bath, because it still contains some impurities. Finally, we pour the mixture through a sifter one last time and let it cool down. Out of the wheel of raw wax like this, we can create new foundations or nicely smelling candles. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's a royal jelly. Yes, royal jelly is another miraculous bee product widely used, for example, in cosmetics industry. But to get it, it's tough even for skilled beekeepers. And even more complicated is collection of bee venom, which can cure rheumatic pain. That is why young beekeepers should learn about these products, but leave its extraction up to the more experienced ones. So, see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye. Bye.